Hey everyone, hope you brought plenty of rat away because we're exploring the Mojave Wasteland. I'm Game Crow, and this is Fallout New Vegas. We're in the town of Good Springs where we started making a name for ourselves as Courier 6. We've got a few things left to do in here in Good Springs, but we'll come back to it after I've got the rifle I've set out to have. I want a sniper rifle to finish this town's safety. So let's get on moving. We've got a giant cross over there, but we don't want to head that way necessarily. To be perfectly honest, we want to head down near that roller coaster to the town of Prim. Grab a companion along the way. Work our way over to New Vegas. Let's grab this little shack up here, because I've always used this shack as a place to kind of dump my things. Apparently there used to be a town called Jean here. a couple of powder gangers running around. They're not going to mess with me right now. We're on neutral terms. Do what you gotta do, brother. Doesn't affect me none. I don't know what that is up there. I'm gonna pretend it's a gecko. I also really want my pistol back out. Like I said, the sights are a pain to use, but... They get the job done. I'd really rather have my silencer for this gun, too, before I take off and fix this town up, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, as they say. Hmm. Maybe if I let them go, they'll leave me alone. Don't need to attack these little monsters. They're not a threat to me, after all. Oh, that one wants to go. Well, I guess we're doing this. I was going to let you live. I could have let you live. You brought this on yourselves. Man, look at that flag waving in the wind. Watch that guy gonna run up and stop me. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. I do what I want. Be careful. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the way. Yeah, shut up, don't care. And there's a reason I haven't gone and slaughtered all the powder gangers.
Alrighty. I'll take that, thank you. Part of me really is considering command consoling in a uh, sniper rifle. But I thought I'd be fair and go find the damn thing. So here we are sneaking around. Because, you know, why would the criminals suspect that we're here? Alright, you know what? I need a varmint rifle. Come on, move just a tick. And he's dead. Dropped him where he stood. Oh, he's alerted to the situation. Where does he think he's going? Well, he knows I'm here. I guess that means it's time to do this! Well, I took a little bit of damage there, but... Fix it up. Yeah! Alright, my little radar in the corner says there's no one else here. So let's just go into this building here and figure out what's going on, shall we? Oh! There's still a few scragglers in this place. In the outside. That might alert somebody. I'll be surprised if it doesn't. But I won't be there to find out. Because we've got a computer, and where there's computers, there's either information or doors to unlock.
Yeah, and then passwords. Open the door. And thank you. Close the door. Grab that maintenance key. I'll make our lives a little bit easier. Oh, that's bubble gum. We don't want that. We don't need that. Medics. Bottle caps. FedEx. I don't need the gun. I have that gun. Oh, I can't open the lock right now. Unless I have a way to get my lockpick up to 50. I don't know what my lockpick's at right now. Lockpick is only at 30. I can't get it up to 50 right now. Oh. Whatever. He's running from me like a pansy. Let him run like a girl. Repair 35? Wait, I don't have a repair of 35? I'm not even gonna hide. You like that? I like that you're gonna be dead. And you're probably gonna join him. Die already. Thank you. Oh, I like your armor. Too bad it's garbage is armor. It looks really pretty though. Alrighty. Oh, I could get away with picking up some 9mm. Well, let's grab some 9mm then. Is it really a star cap? It totally is. How have I never noticed it before? Because I have the key to this door. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. You know what? I'm just going to murder you. I don't know. You like this? See, the more of these guys you send at me, the 
more likely it is that you're gonna die. No, not the door! And... Let's fix more things! Cool. And he's dead. I should probably at some point acknowledge the fact that I am relatively low on health. Hey, Deputy I Beagle. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. Oh, I'm Deputy Beagle, and I'm being held hostage. Can you imagine? Mm. I'd be most grateful if you would set me free. I must say, it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. I bet. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be... I'm gonna win the speech challenge. I don't want him with me. I just want to win the speech challenge. If we were to miss a convict. Oh, I leveled up. How about that? Well, let's get my repair up to snuff. I need this at 30 later. <coughs> oh, sorry again. someone else in the room and I need to get me a little bit of health so let's get me a little bit of health got him Fighting him would not have been fun. He has a flamethrower. And I just want to put it out there. Fighting against a guy with a flamethrower. Actually, I believe he has an incinerator which throws fireballs, not just, like, flamethrower. Yeah, he totally does. It's still not a fun time. I can make a profit with that, though. Oh, I kind of want his leather armor. Oh crap, I needed my repair skill at 35, didn't I? I totally did. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to make do. Come on, Deputy Pansy. If we were to miss a convict and depart. Oh, this guy's a wuss. I'll 
so he doesn't know how to crouch, which is why he gets killed when he comes to the upstairs with me. Well, Deputy, you're an idiot. May you die. Because I could care less if you live or die. Oh, I'm going to need those. It's not that I'm foreshadowing so much as I've played this game quite a bit. Alright, I'll keep him alive for... I'll pretend to care. I'm pretend. This is me pretending to care about this guy. How close to dead is he? Oh, not close enough. You idiot, that's not the door we wanted. Oh look, he's dead. I didn't honestly care, and if you think that I cared, then you obviously have not paid attention. No, you're dead too. Anyone else want some? You're done. Oh, Deputy Beagle. How not sad am I? I am curious about your journal. Deliver. Yeah, okay. This is most unusual. The powder gangers have visitors today. I guess there's a first for everything. Now those tough looking fellows must be great cons. I recognize those funny helmets and leather vests from stories I've heard. So what are they doing with that dapper gentleman who wears a checked suit? I wouldn't mind a suit like that. They're talking about heading south toward Nipton, then west to Novak where they'll meet up with someone. I guess I can track them if I needed to, but the town of Prim needs me here to serve and protect. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. Oh my, I think I've been spotted. Guy is such a cheese. Oh, well, let me pick up this varmint rifle. It's your varmint rifle, wasn't it? Yep, totally was. I'll take that worn key, thank you. Oh, nope, there's still one left. Look at you being angry. Look at you being dead. And you're still alive because of glitching? Now you're not. Ransom note. Ransom note. Let's listen. Or read. Bring the cash and small unmarked bills to the boss's chief on Tuesday. Boxing tape. Well, why not? Take that, we'll take that, and I guess we'll take that. Right, here's a locked door. Let's open it. Let's open the suitcase, man. Man, that was a letdown and a half. I have a worn key. I really hope it opens something in here. Well, that happened. Grab the switchblade and that skeleton goes half flying. 
Actually, we need to go out this door. And then I gotta go back inside, but that guy. This guy needs to, boom, be dead. Now I am lost. Look, dead people. Dead people who can't follow my directions. Yeah, I didn't think I'd fix that. Garbage can. Do -de do -de do -de do. Garbage can. So the convicts around here, they're all dead. Um. Where did even come from in this building? Oh, this is where I went. Okay. So... That means I came from this way. Now, let's see if this worn key goes to either of the safes in here. Not that one. Or it's just like, here's a useless key. Nope, it's like, here's a useless key. Have fun. Dickwads. Liberated it. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband of Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Well, that sucks. I lost a package. What can you tell me about it? I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? I do. Here you go. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over. I don't like how you said them packages. What was strange about it? Cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. Well, that's you disappointing. We hired to do the job, canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Wait, wait, wait hold on. Did he really say some deadbeat from the divide? Wow, that really puts things full circle in the uh, my Xbox game. We'll cross that bridge another time. I'm just kind of sitting here like staring off like, wow. They really made the DLC go full circle. Too bad none of it gives a broken steel effect. Yeah, I got this look when we saw you next down on the courier his expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. Just asked, like that, huh? Money. No, but Courier 6 carried package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sorts you out for something. Then he just up and walked out. Well, what was his name? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money, too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Well, not for me to say. 
Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. Yeah, well, one of them assholes shot me. How do I find him? Deputy Beagle would have been your best bet before he met that tragic end. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on him. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. Maybe you can track down whatever notes he was keeping and find something to help you there. I don't think I told you the deputy died, unless I just didn't fast forward it through it like really fast, but uh whatever. Um Yeah, I hadn't told you the deputy died. Well I guess you're gonna have to find us a new law man. I suggest Oh yeah, it's my responsibility. I also overheard the Potter gangsters talking about some ex sheriff on lockdown there. Now, here's the thing I want to tell everybody. So I don't need to talk to this guy. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I couldn't do that. Um. Yeah. Bye. So there's actually because you know it said on the quest thing, I can either put this town under martial law from the NCR or I can go find a new sheriff. Now I don't. I don't know the route of putting it under martial law, but pers I, I make a lot of decisions based on in, in, for these games and how karma is affected based on what I would personally do. Um, even if that means that like I would be doing a lie for what I really want to do to maintain a healthy relationship with people. There's another option between that isn't go and find a new or martial law and then going and finding a sheriff and that's getting this guy here prim slim which is a protectron to uh take over the town also i want to point out the music clip you're hearing right now not not frank sinatra but the ambiance music is totally used in five nights at freddy's see i can make him be uh, Prim Sheriff. But, there's another guy who I like how he, what? What is, what? What is that? Why is Deputy Beagle here? That is, what? Why? Why does, no, I don't even want to know. So what we're going to do Oh, first we're going to come this way, actually. But we're going to go over to the uh, Powder Gangers Hangout. We're going to take this guy's thing. We're going to head over to the Powder Gangers Hangout. And what we're actually going to end up doing is... Uh, ooh, scrap, scrap metal, I need that. Um, We're going to get that sheriff. He, he's a fan of taking the law into his own hands, which I'm perfectly okay with. And I'm sorry, Nash. I need this stuff. I don't need that stuff. I'm sorry, taking your stuff. Eddie, what's it going to take to fix you? Science 55 or higher. Three pieces of scrap metal, two sensor modules, and some scrap electronics. Alrighty. No, wait. I knew there was more than one in here. So I need one thing of scrap electronics and two sensor modules. Or repair 65 or science of 55. Ugh. Now, I've spent, I to be honest, I've spent a lot of time in the last couple of months talking to a lot of people about the Fallout games. Like, I've got friends who, they don't know the Fallout lore as well as I do, so I rattle off everything I've learned from, a lot of it from YouTube, some of it from the Fallout Wikia page. Um, 
Because it's the the Fallout Wikia has uh, a lot of information on the entire history. So I really, really love the Fallout game. So obviously, you know, I've played all of them at least a little bit. And I just... This one, I really wish would have had a Broken Steel effect where, you know, the Broken Steel DLC in Fallout 3 made it so that you could continue the game after the main story because it continued the main story. And I really was hoping that the Lonesome Road DLC would have done that for New Vegas. But from what I've heard, it didn't. And playing on my Xbox, I'm actually on the Lonesome Road now. I skipped Old World Blues on that one because I don't have Old World Blues on the 360. And since I'm not paying for Xbox Live anymore, you know, I just haven't bothered reverting my account back to silver. There's a bunch of stupid crap going on there. I figured once my mini nuke showed up, I was just going to throw it in my computer, start a new character, and be on my happy little way. Read this note. Yep. That's the same note. But we have a location pinpointed, so we're good. Let's head over here to the Powder Ganger Camp. By the way, I want to point out these railroad tracks are totally unrealistic because they wouldn't do that. Because the train wouldn't let them do that. So Bethesda, you kinda goofed on that one. Here is an area that eventually I will riddle full of bullets and screw these guys. And if I were playing a female sniper character, like I'm usually, like I usually do, I would totally be coercing all of these guys. But you know what? Whatever. Let's go get Prim a new sheriff. Look at you, walking in here like you're one of us. Don't you know this is Powder Ganger territory? Don't you know I don't care? Yeah, don't okay. care. Oh, really? I gotta talk to this guy to get in. Talk to him. Want now? I want in! I guess I have to do the thing. I don't need to talk to you. Can I go in? Here's the cap. Shut up. I don't care about anything you have to say. Not right now. I need to talk to this guy. Didn't know anyone would willingly walk into this place, not unless they were looking for trouble. What's your story? What did you do before you end up incarcerated? We're a small town far to the west of here. Short version is that sometimes justice is a little slow. I helped speed it up one too many times. I don't I see a problem with that. But I will do the time. Fair enough trade if you ask me. Not to mention. I consider this guy honest enough that, you know, he's just like, you know, I did I did technically wrong by the law, so I'll be good and do my time. As opposed to, you know what, I'm just gonna, you know, be a bad kind of corrupt sheriff. So I'm just like, you know what, here, I'm gonna get a sheriff. Assuming an NCR partner comes with a job, you know better. I also need to be able to do things my own way. Yeah, whatever. Sometimes it's just a waste of time. I'll need to know that I'm not going to end up right back in prison. Oh, I know that feeling. All right then. Guess I'll just make a quiet exit. No need for a goodbye party or anything. I know all about that concept of uh, due process taking too long. It's not precise. Boom! Oh, what? Why am I not hitting this guy?
Got him. Why are there so many rad scorpions? No, you're not running away just to fight another day. Just shut up and die. Yay, Mojave Outpost. I did a thing. Alright, we made it somewhere. Caravan, citizen, pilgrim, or... How about mercenary? Just need something for the log book. Keeping tabs on traffic throughout the outpost. Well, mostly just in, not out these days. If you're looking for the commanding officer, he's in the back. Although, he's got a lot on his plate, so if you speak with him, keep it short. Also, if you need any gear checks, we can get you up and running again. Once you fill out the work orders and sign for the parts, of course. you say this to everybody? Prim? These units are stationed up there. We're having problems with some of the NCRCF convicts. What can I help you with? Well, you see, I, I got this guy. He wants a pardon so that he can be a sheriff, and yeah. Of the powder gangers it's been nothing but trouble for us why would we want one of them anywhere in an official capacity well because he's being a good boy serving his sentence and he doesn't have an affiliation with the powder gangers all right his sentence was closing up i can see about getting him pardoned prim is a trader from california so having someone there owes us a favor that couldn't hurt Anything else I have to say to you, we'll discuss it another time. What? Why is everyone yelling like I'm diseased or something? Let's tell our man over here that we've got ourselves a pardon for him. Thanks for getting me that pardon. Good. I understand that Cook was behind it all. Kept my head down the whole time. Didn't want any part of it. I stuck around. Just an honest man. NCR would show up and put things back the way they were. No sense in making myself look guilty, right? Who's Cook? Some kind of anti-NCR rebel. Some people just don't like being pushed around and told what to do. Oh, well, where can I find the bastard? He went north with some of the other guys. Didn't say where. Didn't say why. All I know is he's got some kind of score to settle with the NCR. Hmm. Well, who's in charge? Right now, Eddie and his boys run the place. They've got the guns and the dynamite, so they call the shots. Okay, cool. Well, I might kill him later. Later! Watch yourself out there. And we leveled up! Yay! We need some more lockpick. You know what? We're gonna fix Eddie. Confirm bachelor, you know, I'm tempted to take it. Just for the extra speech things. Educated. Well, I should level up again before I find Benny, so we'll take it educated. Alright, so we've liberated Prim. Time to move on in the world to see the next town that needs saving or the next town to explore. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. So if you like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and give the channel a subscribe. We've got more Fallout on the way. Leading up to the release of Fallout 4, hopefully. So we'll come back with more New Vegas. Until next time. Later!